What's up, a Cinema Shogun here. I'm not sure how many of you all will remember this, but when I first started covering the Quentin Simon case, I made a point really early on. And that point was that I felt like there was a, a negative energy surrounding Quentin's family. Because, I mean, Quentin's uncle is in jail for murder. Quentin's great-grandmother lived right next door to someone who had their kids buried in their backyards and they were missing for years. And I mean, just overall, looking into this family, looking into the situation, there was so many bad things and weird things happening around this family. And I told you all, and I warned you all, that sometimes in life, you will run into people like that. You will run into people that just have like this dark rain cloud following them everywhere they go. And I very much believe that Quentin's family has that rain cloud constantly over them. Now, is this bad karma? Is this a generational curse? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bunch of coincidences, right? A bunch of coincidences. But regardless of that, in my opinion, when I notice that someone has too many things happening around them, when I notice that they always got drama, there's people dying, there's anything like that, I separate myself. I will never, ever, ever hesitate to separate myself from someone. If I feel like they are steering me in the wrong direction, if I feel like they may cause some harm to my life or anything like that, and you all should feel the same. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care who it is. If you're starting to sense that vibe, separate yourself before it's too late. Well, like I was just saying, this family, they have this dark energy. And I believe even people who interact with this family, it rubs off on them as well. Now, Quentin Simon's biological father, Bubba, I think he's going through a lot right now because... He lost his child. And unlike Leilani, he's totally separated from the situation. And I just wonder how that feels. I don't feel like he was a big part of Quentin's life. But, but I would imagine that he feels some type of guilt, some type of anguish. Maybe almost a sense of, of not being able to control the situation. You know what I mean? like a sense of helplessness about what happened to Quentin. Well, I believe it was uh, roughly about last week, maybe a week and a half ago, that Quentin's grandmother passed away, Bubba's mom. She passed away. And, you know, I felt so bad because, I mean, I feel bad when anyone's mother passes away. I've dealt with that myself, but... Also because he just lost his child. So it was like back to back. He lost Quentin and he lost his mother. Well, this morning, news rolled in that his father was killed last night. Yes, Quentin Simon's grandfather was killed last night. So... Before I even go any further in this video, let me say this. By, by if any off weird chance that Bubba is watching this video, I want you to know that my thoughts and my prayers are with you. And I can guarantee you that there are hundreds, if not thousands of people watching this video that feel the same. I really feel for you. And I can't imagine what you're going through right now. You know, that is, I don't even want to put myself there mentally, but I just want you to know, if you're watching this, that there are people out there who feel for you as well. And our thoughts are with you. Now, going forward, like I said um, just a second ago, coincidences happen. Right? But I can't help but feel like there's a negative energy, a bad juju, if you will, 
surrounding this family. And I feel like this is almost further proof of it. Bubba lost his child, his mom, and his father all within the span of a couple of weeks. And it seems like anyone tied to this family, they all got something going on. There's something, tragedies happening all around them. And I would warn the people who are sitting outside their house every day, and you're running around screaming right next to their front yard, I'm warning you all, be careful. Because not only are you bringing negativity to the situation, you are most likely sucking in all type of negative energy from this house. And I'm not a, a really like spiritual energy type of person. I'm not a psychic. I'm none of that. But I'll be damned if there isn't something going on with this family, a dark energy around this family. Too many weird things happen around this family and to people connected to this family. So all I'm saying, you want to go out there and you want to scream and you want to yell and you want to have a party in front of their house, don't be surprised if some negative energies follow you home. But let's go ahead and get into this statement that was released about Quentin Simon's grandfather from the Burke County Sheriff's Office. <clears throat> the Burke County Sheriff's Office is assisting the Georgia State Patrol with a pedestrian fatality that occurred this morning on the 9900 block of Highway 23 between Claxton Road and Brigham Landing Road. When deputies arrived on scene this morning around 7.20 a.m., they found a deceased white male laying off the road. Preliminary investigation indicates the male was struck while on the road by an unknown vehicle. We are asking the public's assistance in identifying the deceased male and locating the person and vehicle responsible for striking this individual. The male subject is described as white, approximately 50 years of age. He was wearing a blue hoodie and gray shorts. He is approximately 5'11 and weighs about 290 pounds. It is believed the male was struck between 538 and um, between sometime around 5.30 a.m. and when he was discovered. Sheriff Williams is offering a reward for the information that leads us to the individual responsible for this hit-and-run fatality. Callers may remain anonymous and call 706-554-2133 or reach out by Facebook Messenger on Burke County Sheriff's Office page or you can send an email to j.wilds at bcso dash ga dot org so he was killed in a hit and run fatality and i mean like i said weird things happen But, but I'll be damned if there's not so much stuff connected to this family. Now, unfortunately, I can tell you from firsthand experience that cases like this are rarely solved. Unless there's some type of traffic cam, which is way more likely these days. But then again, in this area where this happened, I'm not sure if they have a lot of cameras and stuff, you know, around. But I actually lost my best friend to a situation like this, where their body was discovered on the side of the road, and the only explanation we were given was that it must have been a hit, and run, a hit and run that happened in the middle of the night. Now, that story never sat right with me, but no one could ever find out what really happened. This situation seems the same. It is believed that he had a, a tire issue, a flat tire or something, and he was walking to get help, maybe walking home, and he was struck along the way. And of course, whoever struck him kept on driving. We may never know who, who it was. But it blows my mind almost that while we have an investigation underway trying to figure out what happened to Quentin, we now have another investigation underway trying to figure out what happened to Quentin's grandfather simultaneously 
as investigators in Georgia are investigating what happened to Quentin, investigators in Georgia are also investigating what happened to Quentin Simon's grandfather. Now, I know the way YouTube works. I know people are going to come up with some wild, off-the-wall theories. I don't think this is in any way, shape, or form tied to what's going on with Quentin at all in the least bit. I just think, like I've been saying over and over again in this video, that this family has this negative, crazy-ass energy surrounding them, and people are being directly affected by it, or indirectly affected by it. In my opinion, it's just when too many things happens to one family, it, it's hard to ignore. It's really hard to ignore. Is it karma? I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that I feel for Bubba and, and what he's going through right now. It's almost like he lost everyone in a span of a week or a week or two. And I hope that somehow he's able to hold his head up. I hope that he talks to people if he needs to talk to people. I hope he has some type of support system because he's damn sure going to need it going through all of this. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Is this weird to you? Because it's weird to me. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.